Hey everybody, this is Tyler Baker, the soon-to-be pastor of Valiant Baptist Church, which will be located in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, first services will take place on March 25th. And a new exciting update is that we now have uh, a building, a church building, signed the lease, already moving some things in. We're real excited about that. And the address is 3661 Crown Point Court, and that's Jacksonville, Florida, of course. 3661 Crown Point Court, Jacksonville, Florida. We're going to go ahead and put that address and directions and all that good stuff on the website. I'll update the home page, make sure it's on there, and also the contact tab if you wanted to. Uh, go back and uh, uh, look at that information again and check on that. So I wanted to make a video. This is going to be one of my most important videos yet. I'm going to make a video about what the actual traditional view of the Trinity is. What the Orthodox view of the Trinity is. And I'm not going to give you, you know, just my opinions or, or even paraphrase what it is. I'm going to read it to you off of Google, off of Wikipedia or Wikipedia as uh, Pastor Stephen Anderson likes to call it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over that and I'm gonna explain to you why I reject the Orthodox view of the Trinity. But I wanted to make a couple of quick points first before I get into this. So, Number one, I wanted to talk about this, how Steven Anderson all of a sudden wants to talk about the importance. He wants to preach about the importance of believing orthodox views on things and how it's important we hold the traditional view of the Trinity when he holds almost no traditional views or orthodox views in any of his, his doctrines. But all of a sudden, that matters when it comes to this topic. And, you know, he, and he, number one, did not used to believe this in the past. This is, you know, once he switches to one position that's orthodox, he wants to talk about how you need to be or orthodox in your belief. Number two, I want to talk about how the orthodox view on almost everything is, is hardly ever right. The orthodox view, when you start talking about some, a view being orthodox or opinion being orthodox or belief being orthodox or traditional, you're talking about Catholic doctrine most of the time. You're talking about Protestant doctrine most of the time. This, these are not beliefs that are held by Baptists. Baptists do not embrace traditional Orthodox views. I mean, as an example, look at salvation. Is the Orthodox view on salvation correct? So that's a bad argument. That's a poor argument. And that was the one thing that I wanted to uh, address before I actually went into it, but I'm going to give you the definition from Wikipedia of what the Orthodox view of the Trinity actually is. And this is for sure 
Don't let Steven Anderson walk out of this. Don't let him back out of it. This is for sure what he teaches. I'm going to play a clip at the end of this video where he actually tells and explains and gives this exact example of what this, uh, the orthodox view of the Trinity is. So if you go to Wikipedia and you look up the Orthodox Trinity, just look up the Trinity just in, in, in general, or Wikipedia, it's, uh, it says triad from trinus, trinus, I, I believe that's Latin, threefold is the definition, and then it says this exactly, explains to you what it is, the belief of the Trinity, holds that God is three consubstantial persons. I'm going to explain consubstantial in just a minute. Consubstantial persons or hypostasis and then it says, the Father, the Son, parentheses, Jesus Christ, end of parentheses, and the Holy Spirit as one God in three divine persons. The three persons are distinct, yet are one substance essence or nature and then in parentheses there at the end it says homoousius homoousius ousio however you pronounce that word ousios i guess it is ousios so if you go to my website you will notice that on my website it says that we believe in, we believe that there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. We believe in a triune nature of God, and I believe is the way that I worded it. We, and that's the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. I like to use and speak the words that the Holy Ghost speaks. That's why I don't call them persons, because the Bible never one time calls them persons. Not once. It calls God a person singular. Number one. Number two. If you read right below that, it says, We reject the teaching that God is three persons, one essence. And what people say is, I reject, rejects the Trinity. Total lie. 100% lie. I reject the Orthodox view of the Trinity. But I do not reject the Trinity. The Trinity teaches that there are three within God's nature that are also one. That's what the Trinity teaches, and that's what I believe. I believe the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost have coexisted. They are co-eternal. I have no problem with that. They're co-equal. I believe these things. People keep wanting to try to tell you what I believe, you know, and, and they're like, don't listen to him. He's lying to you. Let me tell you what he believes. They're liars. Now, let me go over this real quick on why I reject that first I want to actually tell you what it is and what it means so here you'll notice like I said it said that they were that they are three divine persons and it says that they and that they have the same essence nature that's what they share the same essence 
nature, or substance. And that's what consubstantial means. It means the same substance with the same substance is what that that's actually meaning. And uh, the exact last phrase was the three persons are distinct, so they're not each other, yet are one substance, essence, or nature. Pastor Harrison said, oh, they're distinct, but they're not separate. Distinct and separate are synonymous. It's actually the definition of distinct. One of the definitions is separate, so that he's a fool again. But three persons are distinct, yet are one substance, essence, or nature. Let me give you a perfect example of that. And it's the exact same example that Pastor Anderson gave in his in his, um, his this clip that I'm going to show you here at the end. So there are different types of beings or essence or nature is what that's referring to. Different beings in this world. There are human beings. There are cats. There are dogs, giraffes, horses, all different types of beings, right? I am a human being, correct? My father is a human being. My wife is a human being. But we are three distinct persons. But we are one in being. We are one in essence. We are one in nature. We are one in substance. We are consubstantial with one another. We have the same essence, we have the same nature, we have the same being. That is an exact parallel with the teaching of three persons, one essence, or three persons, one being exact parallel the difference is obviously god is a different being he has a being of deity they would say or of who he is 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 god that is his nature that is the exact a example that Pastor Anderson gives in this clip that I'm going to show you at the end. Uh, if you will, look up James White. Dr. James White, probably familiar with him. He is a big proponent for the new modern Bible versions. He's a big opponent for... King James only onlyism, a big opponent of King James onlyism. But he, what he is most well known for, is the is being a proponent for or apologist. He's probably the 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 most popular apologist. For the Trinitarian position and not just Trinitarianism but specifically the Orthodox or traditional view of the Trinity that's the type of people that are really big into this Reformed Baptist Protestants hardcore Protestants Methodists Evangelicals People like that. This is not what the majority of independent Baptists believe. They can spit and act like this is a black or white issue. This labeling crap is just ridiculous and they sound like a bunch of idiots. And it is not what the majority believe. 
Now, let me go ahead and, and just continue to explain this to you real quick. So, what Pastor Anderson explains at the end of his video, at the end of, in this clip that I'm going to show you at the end of this video, is exactly what I just said to you. Three persons, but they share being. This is getting into, like, Mormonism. This is getting into, like, you know, that they have the same purpose. They have the, they're one in spirit. You know, they're one in essence or one in nature. So what they have in common is they're all three gods. That is heresy, and I have no problem saying that at all. I have, I'm going to make no bones about it. If that is what Steven Anderson believes, he is a heretic, and he is teaching and preaching heresy. And this is not what he used to teach or preach. You can't find him believing this in the past and teaching this type of garbage or junk. That's the disagreement is how are they one? Are they just one in essence? Are they just one in nature all because they're all three God? What is the difference between polytheism if you embrace this type of position? Because a Hindu or somebody would say the exact same thing. Yeah, the you know these are three. They're all the all the three gods are all three distinct persons. Isn't it funny they call them God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost? They're all three distinct persons. Right? But they all share the same essence. God or deity. That's heresy, man. And that is not what the majority of independent Baptists believe. Go ask your pastor if you're watching this video if that's what he believes. That they just share the same essence or nature. That's in what way they are one. They're no in no way each other. No, not in any sense at all. That's why that that diagram that's used is not the Father, is not the Son, is not the Holy Ghost. Referring to all three of those members that they are not each other in any way. They don't believe that they are each other at all. And they've been trying to be vague about this lately. Like, hey, you know, um, three persons, one God. It's like, yeah, you're not telling me in what way they are one. You know, James White who is the biggest proponent of this, as I said, the Trinitarian uh, position, he would then beg the question, if you were to bring that up, well, in what way are they one? Because many people say, oh, I believe in one God, but the, and there's three. Explain to me what you mean by that. And what they mean is, Three persons, one essence. Three persons, one nature. Three persons, one being. That's heresy. And that is not, and we reject that. We reject the teaching of three persons, one being. Three persons, one essence. Valiant Baptist Church does not believe that. And we will stand for what the Bible actually teaches, that there are three that bear record in heaven, 
the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Another thing I want to address at this, I'm going to get into this more in another video, but people have been talking about, oh, you know, the word doesn't really mean word there. You know, it's uh, it, that's just the title that's given to uh, Jesus as the second person of the Trinity prior to that. He's not the literal word of God. That's not what Stephen Anderson used to believe and teach either. He actually attacked people that believed and taught that it wasn't the literal word. When the Bible says word, guess what? It really means word, and I don't need to go back to the Greek, and I don't need you to redefine words for me. The Bible, when it says word, it means word, and it actually, even in context, explains to you that it's the word, because that is the actual way that he created the world. I'm going to be making a video, too, about the eternal sonship issue, and uh, I'm going to explain all of that. There's so many lies that go around. I'm going to talk about, you know, these claims that I believe that Jesus became the Son of God at baptism, false that I believe that Jesus Christ, you know, uh, had received eternal life as and didn't have eternal life and, and like, well, just like a human being. That's false. I don't believe that. The guy, he's a total liar. He will, you know, he will just stretch the truth. It's all his, about his, his personal enemies. That's all what it's about. This is all about Stephen Anderson. He's not standing up for God. Don't let him fool you. He's not standing up for the Bible. He's standing up for his image. And he's standing up for himself. And he is now, because of this, he's led himself into heresy and he's and he's more and more prideful and he just you know the guy is just like it's ridiculous and it's embarrassing and let me say this too i am ashamed that that man was ever my pastor i mean that from the bottom of my heart. I am ashamed that that man was ever my pastor. Now seeing the filth that he spews and, and just the garbage that comes out of his mouth and this heresy that he's teaching. And I'm, I am going to, I am not only just going to be teaching and preaching what I believe, but I am going to be calling out, you know, these new teachings just like they are. I'm going to be calling them heresy, and this is just, it's just false. And it's not what the Bible teaches. We need to get back to the truths of the Bible. And I don't give a rip if the Orthodox Trinity, you know, teaches something different. I'm going to stand for what the Bible teaches. God bless you and have a good day. Well, Steven Anderson is, is human, and Jesse Clark is human. Therefore, Steven Anderson is Jesse Clark. 
That doesn't make sense, does it? Because here's the thing. This is why it doesn't make sense. Because I'm not the only one who's human. And Jesse's not the only one that's human. Well, guess what? The Father's not the only one who's God. Because the Son is God also. And the Holy Ghost is also God. 